Hey, fire signs. What is up with you? I'm home. I'm home. I'm home. Just picked the kitties up from the Happy Cat Hotel. I highly recommend that place. Of course, it is right here in Windsor, in this little town. It's a fabulous place, though. I love it. They take very good care of them, and they always have a lot of fun. All right, so let's see what's going on with you, fire signs. Welcome in. Welcome in. The... The sun is starting to shine brighter and stronger. The week in Florida did me good. <laughs> Let's see what's going on for you. Fire signs, fire signs. I have uh, chosen a couple cards to uh, get in reverse. I don't know what they are. I just chose them randomly. If they show up, they show up. Queen of Swords here, dudes. Queen of Swords. There's your King of Wands right there. Um... Like the ending of a cycle. Yeah, yeah. All right. This feels really good to me, guys. There's a new person. Could be a water sign that you're dealing with. Could be a new person. The old way. Yeah, old way, stuckness, force. Okay, so fire sign, there's some water sign you're dealing with that wanted a new start and you're sort of done with that. Um, you're done with that, right? Page of Cups reversed. There's not going to be a new start. This person really wanted a new start with you, but you are moving towards something much better. Okay, so let me show you. All right, so this is, look at you, world, page of pentacles, ten of cups, fire sign. You know what makes you happy? You're ready. You see the value in moving toward real happiness. Um, this person could have been a third party in your life, a secret. Okay? Fire sign, they could have been a, somebody who ha has a partner who is already married or something like that. Ace of cups, three of pentacles, we can work it out. Moon, but you're still going to be a secret. Okay? Um, they sort of refuse to understand their feelings. So you have this image, fire sign. I feel like you're like, you're on your best, on your own behalf, right? Because here's the king of wands and the queen of swords is like, hey, you're not getting my king of swordsness unless you're awesome. And then there's this, um, this, this person dealing with the water sign, really a lot of work feel trapped in that situation. Four of swords, healing from that. You know that you want to move towards something that makes you happier. Um, but this person is moon. They could have, um, they could have like a mood disorder where there are three different people. Okay. This person could be, uh, have a mood disorder. They want a fresh start. Okay. Um, you want a fresh start too, but I think you want a different start <laughs> than they want. You want a fresh start too, but you're moving in a different direction than they are. Okay. So this 10 of wands thing, put down the burden here of feeling trapped. Okay. And heal from that because you're now seeing the benefit. Like it's almost like you didn't know what the world was like without this person. And now you do. Now you've sort of seen it's, it's kind of like, um, you know, you eat school cafeteria food, nothing against school cafeteria food, just saying it's not, it's not Sardis, okay? Um, and all you know is what they serve at that cafeteria or at that restaurant even. And all of a sudden you're like being paroled. So you're opening yourself up to a bigger world, fire sign, opening yourself up to a bigger world. This is the world and the Ten of Cups here. And the Ten of Wands here, you're putting down the burden. This person kind of maybe wanted to trap you in that, okay? Together you feel trapped and burdened, okay? Because of this moon card, I'm going to get a couple about this moon card, but you're going to heal from this. So what's this moon card here? What's the moon? What's the moon? Emperor, yeah, oh yeah. Okay, so they see you as the star, fire sign. Look at that. They see you as like the most amazing. And 
they also see um, they could be controlling or they could feel controlled by the situation. They could be somebody who has a mood disorder and they are um, trying to control it, you know, through this kind of behavior, eight of wands, ten of wands, eight of swords here, through this kind of like, you only see a little bit of them or something, because I feel like you have a better person, king of wands, right, another fire sign is a better choice for you. That could even be this Aries here, but this is about them. This is about their wanting to keep it as a third party. This person this with who they could be married to a water sign who is has a mood disorder, or they could have a mood disorder. Okay, that moon card makes me feel like when I asked about that, they're they're fantasizing about this with you fire sign. They're fantasizing about this. They're not taking action to make it real. They're not taking action. You see that? Not taking action to make it real. You, on the other hand, are sort of done with this. You're being this queen of swords, right? Taking action, asking questions, ready to move forward into something better for yourself, right? Really ready for Ten of Cups. So now what you're doing is you're sort of saying to them, well, um, I don't want to be a secret anymore. I'm getting out of this third party stuff. I'm putting down this burden. Eight of Swords. This person could really, there's something very fantasy oriented with this. This was like a fantasy. Okay. This person was like a fantasy, like almost too good to be true but they're unwilling to really, they're unwilling for you to see them in real life. They want to stay in a fantasy world where you don't know any better. The star is fantasy, right? It's healing energy here. I feel like you're healing from this fantasy, right? By understanding that it's, a, it's really a burden. They could be in a very bad situation and they can't get out, and so they're creating this fantasy, right? And you're like, Queen of Swords cut, is cutting through that bullshit. It's like you might have seen them as the King of Wands at some point. You might have seen them in this fantasy role of husband or boyfriend or, or partner, and now you're realizing it was a fantasy. Yeah, it was a fantasy. Okay. Okay. Here, Rose. Hi, Rose. Hi, Rose. All right. So this uh, Ten of Wands, putting down this burden, getting out of this stuckness. You're going to be doing that. You're going to be healing from this. Uh, for some of you, a really small portion of you, this person came off as a fire sign, another fire sign, uh, but they could be really controlling. Okay. And they could be, you know, I don't like that moon card there. I don't like that moon. When I asked about it, I got the emperor. So this person either is dealing with a narcissist or they are one. They could have hidden that from you, hidden their real personality or hidden their real, you know, as a third party triangulation, right? There's been this triangulation here and there's going to be healing from this. I, I do like this star when it comes to the four swords, the healing of it. This person created like a fantasy life or fa a fantasy. You, you weren't seeing them correctly. Now you're Queen of Swords here. Queen of Swords, ready to take action, King of Wands. You're seeing them clearly now. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Right? All right. There you go. Um, I'm going to do an extended read if you are so inclined. The link is below. Fire sign. This is March 12th.